Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. So you didn't tell Helena about the forecast because she just said warm. I think we've got hot coming. We do have hot coming. It's sort of new. It's sort of new. I mean, uh, been working on it this afternoon and it really <laughs> looks hot and humid. It's going to be great. But it's a little cool out there now and we still have this uh, cool ish weather for a few days. Today we have the showers out there, but this is really the last full day with the scattered showers and actually they've become a little bit more widespread as of the last couple hours, certainly over Plattsburgh, a couple showers in Burlington. There's even a little bit of a heavier pocket near Messina and that'll come into Malone here very soon. The other heavier area is just north of Albany, but see how it's moving to the south and east. So if you're in Bennington County, particularly in Bennington itself, I do think you're in for a downpour here, maybe even a strike of lightning over the next hour or so. A lot more in the way of lightning well to our south in Connecticut, but that is the back edge. See that sharp edge in the clouds? That's what comes through tomorrow morning. So there may be some clouds first thing, but I think it turns out to be a really nice Monday. This is the time lapse through today. Grafton County from Plymouth. Every now and again, a little break of sunshine, but mostly a cloudy day with the showers here and there. So it dries out tomorrow. There may be some scattered storms on Thursday, but I think the biggest thing in this forecast is the 90 degree heat that is likely next weekend and it sustains so it sticks around even longer than just next weekend. We'll look at that in a second. We have a slight chill in the air 60s right now, a couple spots in the 70s. It's actually quite humid in southern Vermont. Just a hint of humidity as you head to the north dew points in the 60s to near 70 in the south. So over the night, uh, over the next 12 hours for this night, we have still some showers in play. Even first thing in the morning, there may be some showers, especially the farther east you are. We'll show you that here on Futurecast. But definitely the trend is a drier one, a clearing trend for tomorrow. So this is 9 a.m. in the morning. I think it's pretty much sunny Champlain Valley points west, but more in the way of clouds when you head over towards the upper valley. And the other thing about tomorrow, there may be an isolated shower in the Northeast Kingdom or New Hampshire, but I think the most prevalent showers tomorrow will be in Maine. It's mainly a dry day for us. And Tuesday turns out completely sunny. And we warm up too, so it looks really nice for Tuesday. Then some more clouds come in for Wednesday in advance of some showers for Wednesday night. So here's the call in terms of temperatures across the Adirondacks. 65 in Lake Placid, 73 tomorrow in Plattsburgh. Same deal in a lot of spots, 71 in Burlington, 66 in Montpelier. And in southern Vermont and southern New Hampshire, we have 75 in Brattleboro. So here's the five day forecast still on the cool side tomorrow, but we're close to 80 with the sun on Tuesday. I think most of the daylight hours of Wednesday are dry. It's really at night when those showers come in and then some scattered storms for Thursday. And here we go with the heat 87 on Friday, 92 Saturday, 95 on Sunday, 97 on Monday and it looks like that 90 degree heat sticks around for Tuesday and Wednesday. So if we put three, at least three of those together, it's a heat wave and it also looks very humid. So that is the early look heading into July 4th, Jen.